Matt Murphy here with Dave Cohn talking about productivity enhancements, productivity improvements. Um, I don't know any AutoCAD person that doesn't have to modify an object. But a lot of times when you select multiple objects, now you've got to kind of figure out which object you really want to edit. Well, it's not even that you're trying to select multiple objects. A lot of times you'll be working in a crowded area of the drawing. And people forget that Autodesk added a really neat tool a couple of releases ago called Object Selection Cycling. And we kind of had it before where you could use keyboard combinations to cycle through objects. But now there's a control down on the status bar. When you toggle that on, if you click in a crowded area of the drawing, you'll get a little dialog box that will list all of the objects that are in that area under your cursor. And then it's very simple to select the red circle you know, or the yellow line, whatever object it was that you really meant to select so that you can modify it. So it saves you having to zoom in and out of the drawing. So it's a visual and more intuitive way to actually cycle through the object. Absolutely. So you should be able to work much faster, again, because you don't have to zoom in and out as much to pick what it is you're trying to modify. Sounds great. Show Let me show you. It. When you work in a complex, crowded drawing with overlapping objects, it's often difficult to select the desired objects. Object Selection Cycling can help you select the desired objects. For example, it would be very difficult to select the yellow arc in this area of the drawing without zooming in. But if I toggle Object Selection Cycling on by clicking the Selection Cycling button on the status bar, notice that now I can see a special Selection Cycling icon adjacent to the cursor. If I click in a crowded area of the drawing, AutoCAD displays a box that shows a list of objects that overlap below the spot where I picked. As I move the cursor over the objects and the list, I can see the objects highlight in the drawing. When the object I want to select is highlighted, I can click in the list to select it. I can then continue with whatever operation I wanted to perform. You can control the appearance and position of the Selection Cycling list box. To do so, right-click on the Selection Cycling button on the status bar and choose Settings from the shortcut menu. AutoCAD displays the Selection Cycling tab of the Drafting Settings dialog. You can use the controls on this tab to turn selection cycling on and off.